Hey YouTube, we have a, a new server. We will be installing uh, VMware ES6i, little how-to video. And also we're going to be uh, upgrading the BIOS. There's a new version of Dell release for the Dell PowerEdge R740 XDs. There we go, we have the cover off. Now we will be preparing the server to have ESXi installed. As you see, we only have one socket. It's an Intel bronze CPU. It's a six core. It's a fa fairly decent CPU. It, or on eBay, it's around $250. Not too bad. I mean, this is just a beginning R740 in the future. We'll have more different kinds once they get a little cheaper. We have a HBA. 330 with a SAS cable. It's a high density SAS cable plugging in into the rear. Okay, so once we have the server opened, we will stick the flash drive. I like to use uh, plastic flash drives for installations. I do not like to use USB flash drives that have metal casings pretty close to the power supply. I kind of just keep the plastic a little safer. Also another method of installing a 6 i is the integrated SD card module slot. You can put a so this is something that will look like this, but since this is an R740 and this SD card slot reader is from a 620, it will not work too well. So try test fitting it, but it will not go. So as you can see, it's getting stuck on the PCI. There we go. Okay guys, now we're at the PC and we're going to be setting up ESXi, but before we do that, we're going to be updating the firmware, BIOS, and any other drivers that are required to patch any vulnerabilities, enhance performance, and things like that. So now, first things first, we're going to do the BIOS. The server's behind me, so you guys probably can hear some uh, noise, but that is okay. There we go. So once you are in iDRAC, this is iDRAC 9 Enterprise, we're going to actually update the BIOS. And the cool thing is, is with this, you can actually provide the whole EXE installation from Dell's website and it will deconstruct it and pull out what it needs. Let's check this out. So now it's loading the driver. Here we go. Now you guys can see we have the version 2100. Current is 2.82. Oh, actually I said 2.80. That's okay. We will actually proceed with the update. There we go. Server has turned off. It is actually doing a uh, cold boot. It's coming back up. And we're going to be going into the update of the BIOS 2.82. And we should be on 2.10 if everything goes smooth. And I will fast forward this portion. It is now downloading the capsule file. So now this is the moment where you want to make sure you have the server on both power supplies along with uh, a UPS to help you if there is a power outage. There we go, it's ramping up. Now that the server has updated, we are booting up.
the Dell Parridge R740s, XDs, XD2, they uh, have a longer uh, boot up process with all their uh, initializing firmwares, drivers, testing memory, but it's not too bad. And once uh, this is done, we will be progressing on to the installation of any other firmwares that we might come around, but there's a possibility that there's no other updates. So we will check the support page for Dell for the server. And then after that, we will progress installing ESXi 7.0. UEFI boot up screen and the server is pretty excited it looks like it's ramping up it will do a few things like that after a uh, BIOS so now we're going to connect the virtual media as you guys can see the iDrag interface for the newer servers pretty fancy we have our VMware ISO attached right there you guys don't see it on screen because it's only grabbing whatever I selected so we have ESXi 7.0 we're going to map the device and then we're going to do a boot manager F11 once we are in here we're going to do a one shot simple we're going to do the virtual optical disk since we already have the flash drive installed that you guys saw in the video now we are going to continue with this Now we're loading ESXi. If you do have older servers, you can actually do a legacy mode prior to this loading. But the newer servers are supporting ESXi 7.0 pretty well. The latest server, if you want no issues with, is a uh, 13th gen generation server. There we go. We're loading in. Here we go, loading up. As you guys can see, there's the specs. It's an Intel Bronze 3104, 32 gigs of memory. Here we are. So this is the installation of ESXi. It's pretty straightforward. Follow the prompts. Scanning. And if you do have flash drives or SD cards, they will show up in here. As you can see, I have a uh, 10 terabyte drive just for basic uh, temporary storage going to install it on the flash drive. Create a default password. Just VMware, just a lab installation and we start the installation. This takes a matter of minutes, it's fairly quick depending on the server hardware and the installation medium but we'll be back right after this finishes installing. There we go, we have the server installed. Going to reboot. While the server is rebooting, now we can actually 
go back to uh, the IDRAC. And we're going to make sure we boot up. And as you guys can see, version 2.10 for the BIOS. It is uh, upgraded to the latest one. As you guys can see, we have logged in into the DCUI, which is a direct console user interface. We have a DHCP IP address of 10.2.150, IPv6. Not really going to be reading at that out. <laughs> so now we're going to log in. We have installed uh, ESXi 7.0. We have configured and set up a data store. This video is all about how to upgrade a R740 or any 14th generation server, upgrade the BIOS firmware, and also install ESXi. And then once that is all done, configure data store, and that is all the video is about today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, and stay tuned.